But Fond du Lac, obviously that's not anybody. cannot overlook, as you mentioned, anybody in this Fox Valley Association. Yeah, those rankings you got right there, you can just take these things and throw them out. They don't mean nothing in the regular season. All that matters is getting those W's throughout the season. To do obviously to be ranked is a nice thing for the program. We don't need those things. Get those things out of here. All right, Fox Valley Association matchup tonight. One of the opening tip and the lineups coming up next. Carter Communications. Try the Mexican. The Matzlan has the best authentic Mexican food, north of the border. Start off with three chips and Matzlan's famous homemade salsa. Matzlan has a different lunch special every day that is served fresh in 50 minutes or less. And buy one and get one free margarita specials on Wednesdays for the ladies and Thursdays for the men. The Matzlan has two convenient locations to better serve you. Main Street in Fond du Lac and our Oshkosh location featuring a full service bar next to Kmart on Curler Street. Most people don't take time to listen to Papers back organized here. Uh, your, pen right. your pen's there. Can you hear me? Huh? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear. Wait, no, I can't. I'll say, okay, there, there, there we, there we go. <laughs> I just want to say, Steven's doing an outstanding job tonight. Double duty on the cameras, Steven. Way to go. He's gonna get a good workout tonight. That's why he's the man, though. Runs. Yeah, Mike Pfeiffer. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, you're fired. You're fired. <laughs> best best Pfeiffer's ever looked. That's for sure. Right, you're right. <laughs> 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 I'll tell you I just wish I had his pocketbook. I never even yeah. looked at that thing. We all wish we had his pocketbook. I never, I never even looked at the thing. <laughs> I was in here digging around with it, setting it up, and that's all right. Yeah, the cardinals, the cardinals, and blue. Uh, and Mike, you're looking good tonight. Thank you. You rah rah fondue lack. Yeah, I got new jeans for uh. My brother said you got to wear some more styling jeans. So he bought. What does he know about style? Yeah, exactly. Mr. Piggy Boy. Do, 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 do. The Cardinals have cheerleaders? I think Supports is going to dunk one tonight. Yeah, they got Part time. That's, yeah. that and everything else, right? I think Supports is going to dunk one tonight. Part time cheerleaders, part time concessions. <laughs> and a part time band. Yes, that's true. We experience in being part time. Per diem. Saporsky. Let's see Saporsky throw down some of those three pointers like he did against Apple. I think he's going to dunk one tonight. Come on, Dylan, slam it home. He can dunk it. Put it down, big boy. I want to see one in a game. I want to see Conan dunk it. Yeah, I know. There was one time a basketball game, and I don't remember where it was, but they didn't know that they couldn't dunk in the pregame, and they dunked it like 10, 15 times. In the pregame, so the uh, post had like a 13 to nothing lead before the game even started. Was that Ian Wade? Probably. Raw Schumacher into the lane. Sean Bartels. That African American kid scored a couple of weeks ago. Uh, okay. the first. Don't give uh, Susie down there too much crap about her concession stand. Why? Well, because she volunteered to do this tonight. 
Oh, well, I'm not going to give her crap. I'm just going to give the school crap. Right. Sue Smith. Sue Smith. So she, she, does, does she play softball, too? Well, she's all setting, was an all-setting softball player. Oh, okay, yeah, she ran a tournament. Well, she I was, was married, married to another Alrighty. guy by the name of Mark. Oh, okay. okay. Bring her back. You're back. And welcome back to the Cardinal Fieldhouse. We are just about set for the starting lineups. And the opening tip-off should be an exciting game here tonight. Pretty nice crowd here at the Cardinal Fieldhouse. Let's go courtside for tonight's National Anthem. At this time, would you please remove your hat as you stand in reverence for our National Anthem played by the Bondi Cardinal Pep Band under the direction of Mr. Dale Scheib. That's tonight's National Anthem being played by the pep band in attendance here for the National Anthem tonight. Let's go back courtside for tonight's starting lineups. From Kakana, a junior, 5'7", number four, Tyler Deering. A sophomore, 5'8", number 24, Jared Kaufman. A junior, 6', number 32, Ben Deering. A sophomore, six foot seven, number forty-two, Craig Coonan. And a senior, six foot nine, number forty-three, Steve Holzel. And now for your final at Cardinals. A junior, six foot number twenty, Sean Bartelt. A senior, six foot three, number thirty-four, Casey Weep. A junior, six foot, number three, Chris Saberlick. A junior, five foot ten, number thirteen, Robbie Springborn. And rounding out your final at Cardinals, a senior, six foot four, number fifteen, Derek Arndt. That's tonight's starting lineups here from uh, the Cardinal Fieldhouse. The final at Cardinals are coached by Dick Diener. The Kakana Ghosts are coached by Mike Shallow. Kakana comes into the season, uh, comes into this game two and four, three and five overall. The Fond du Lac Cardinals on the top of the Fox Valley Association with a five and one record, seven and one overall. But this is uh, definitely a game that the Fond du Lac Cardinals, Sean, cannot overlook, especially after that emotional win last Friday night against the Terrors of Appleton West. And yeah, we talked about that in the pregame about the letdown factor. And the Cardinals going to have their hands full tonight as a couple of more big men. They're going to have to face with Steve Jose, 6'9", and Craig Coonan, who's six foot seven. So uh, definitely a size advantage. Although the Cardinals have fared pretty well against teams of size. Remember, they played Cedarburg uh, to open up the season. There's some big players, and the Cardinals able to handle them. And, of course, the outstanding job they did against Brian Butch last Friday. Hosell and Derek Arndt will tip it off. And we are just about underway here from the Cardinal Fieldhouse. And the Cardinals uh, will uh, get the tip, but actually will go to the Kakana Ghost. Daring with it out top, gives it off to Kaufman to Deering. Out on top, shot no good, rebounded by Fond du Lac, and Robbie Springborn looks at uh, pushing it up the court. Now, of course, the Cardinals usually uh, very patient in offense on their first offensive series unless they're able to get an open shot right away. Three-pointer by Sabalek, no good. Cardinals come away with the board. Casey Weiss. Springborn. Head fake. Shot no good, rebounded by the Kakana Ghosts couple of Deerings on uh, the Kakana Ghost, Kakana Ghost roster, both starters. Deering with it, gives it to Hosell. Turnaround jumper from Hosell, no good. 
and Casey Weiss comes away with the rebound. That time you saw Jose get the ball, and it's a nice defense being played down low by Fond du Lac. Springborn with it out top. Casey Weiss to Sean Bartelt. Sean Bartelt, one of those players that did an outstanding job defensively last week. A whistle and a travel on Fond du Lac. It will be a turnover. Kakana will get the basketball back. 6.49 and remaining in the opening quarter. We are scoreless, just underway from the Cardinal Fieldhouse. Bartelt, also John Shavey, just used their strength last Friday against Brian Bush and holding into only one field goal throughout the game. Van Zeeland with it. He's into the basketball game. Kaufman being guarded by Saberlick. To Tyler Deering. Cardinals in a man-to-man -man defense. Hosell underneath being triple teamed by Fondelak. Almost a turnover. That's the defense that Brian Butch saw last week, Nick. Whenever he got the ball, double and triple teams immediately. Three-pointer on the way. Off the rim, no good. Both teams are kind of cold here to start this basketball game from the field. Fondelak knocks it out of bounds. It will be Kakana basketball. Well, so far, uh, I guess defense has been the word. Either that or cold shooting. Pick your poison, whatever you uh, think the, the thing is here. But almost two minutes into the game and no score. Great defense that time by Fond du Lac. Derek Arndt takes it away from Hosell. Cardinals looking at pushing it. Saberlick, Springmorn. Jumper on the way in the lane. No good. And the Kakana goes come away with the rebound. Both teams struggling to get a basket on the board here early going. Robbie a little short on that jumper. Kind of wanted a call, but he's got to take those up a little bit harder. He... You can't expect to get a foul called every time. Van Zeeland with it. Deering. Tyler Deering. And a whistle and a turnover. Five second call, I believe that's what it's gonna be. Well, I hope you don't like offense tonight, or at least we're expecting yeah. offense five tonight. Second closing guard. Uh, five second closely guarded penalty uh, whistle on uh, the Kakana Ghost. Scoreless still here from the Cardinal Fieldhouse. Bartelt off to Springmorn. Casey Weiss takes it strong into the lane. Nice move by Casey Weiss and an underhand layup, and the Cardinals get on the board first. I kind of like that the Cardinals not being afraid of the big guy down low taking it up there, and Arndt was able to kind of block off Hosell a little bit and give Casey Weiss the open shot off the glass and in to give the Cardinals the first points in this game. Daring from three, he hit it. And Kakana gets on the board for the first time. Tyler Daring with a three-point basket. Well, maybe the offenses will open up a little bit here as we went throughout the first three some minutes of the game without any points. Saberlick's three-pointer off the front of the rim. Ball still loose on the court. Cardinals come away with it. Springborn takes it, lays it in, and good. Robbie Springborn, and the Cardinals lead 4-3. to three. Saberlick 0 for 2 so far in this game. Really hasn't been the same since uh, he had some of those higher scoring outputs earlier this season at home. Ever since that Oshkosh North game, which was played at the Old Field House, he struggled in that game. Of course, credit the defenses to really stepping up on these other teams against Saberlick, but uh, he's been struggling with his outside shot. Underneath to Hosell. Hosell turned around into the lane, closely guarded by Arndt. I believe Arndt's going to get the foul as Hosell takes it strong into the lane. And that's what's going to be on. That'll be the first foul of the basketball game. Hosell's a big body. I mean, six foot nine, but he's also, he's got some width to him. First shot on the way, no good. Hosell, uh, the other night in a five-point loss to Oshkosh North, had 26 points. Not a bad basketball game. Jim Dilling checking in for Fond du Lac to take the place of Derek Arnt. And of course, Dilling will draw the assignment of Hosell down low. And the band is gone. Second one on the way. Gets a good bounce and goes in. And the band is now gone from the basketball game. They are uh, apparently just here for um, the national anthem, which uh, we haven't seen in years past. Casey Weiss thought about the three. Springmorn also thought about the three. A tight defense is being played by both teams tonight. Weiss, turnarounder, into the lane. Good job by Casey Weiss taking it right at Craig Conan, and he's got four points. 
Obviously, Casey Weiss, too, for two shooting, and he's feeling confident, something that the Cardinals like uh, with him attacking in the basket down low and scoring. Daring and a foul, blocking foul. Coach Dean are not happy about that one. A little animated there. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like he was doing some sort of Texas two-step. <laughs> Tyler Daring will go to the free throw line and shoot two. That goes on Sean Bartelt. That'll be his first personal, second team. First one on the way for Daring is good. Tyler Daring, 5'7". Just a small little point guard, but a quick point guard. Second one on the way is good, and we have a tied basketball game, 6-6. Six to six. Well, The pace of this game early on not definitely favors that of the Fond du Lac Cardinals as they like to slow things down. We saw what happens when they get into a track meet. They lost against Oshkosh North, but are able to slow things down against Appleton West, the 39-37 final. These slower-paced games, defensive played games, that's really what plays into the hands of the Cardinals. Shavy on the far side. Saberlick for three. And good! Chris Saberlick hits his first basket of the game from outside the arc. That's one of the first wide open threes, or at least decently open three-pointers I've seen Saberlick have a chance at in a while. Bonilek almost with a steal. Saberlick steps out of bounds. Cardinals with a 9-6 lead with a straight up three minutes left here in the opening quarter. You see how deadly Saberlick can be when he's got a little space to shoot that shot. Defenders have you know, they've been crowding him a lot more since the early parts of this season. And a turnover by Kakana. Good defense by the Fond du Lac Cardinals. That one kind of slipping in and out of the hands of Kakana's big man, Steve Hozell. So far, the first five-some minutes of this basketball game, I really haven't been overly impressed with the big man. No, he, the Fond du Lac's done a pretty good job on him so far. Springmorn, Saberlick. Saberlick takes it right to Hozell. Hozell has the block out of bounds, and it will be Fond du Lac basketball. They will inbound at baseline right in front of us. Oh, the Cardinals. They don't attack. I mean, you can't be afraid of a big guy like that, or else he's really going to alter your game. You have to go at him and hope maybe that he can pick up a couple of fouls. That's a good point. Uh, and Fond du Lac's done that so far with Casey Weiss, and right there with uh, Chris Saberlick. Weiss for three. Off the rim, no good. And Hosell comes away with the rebound. Kakana looking to push it up court. Hosell, long jumper off the front of the rim. No good. John Shavy with the rebound. And an offensive foul will go on the Kakana Ghost. Steve Hosell, the six foot nine star player for Kakana so far, 0 for 3 shooting in this first quarter. And I'm sure the Cardinals will love him taking those 15 to 17 foot jumpers as long as they can push him away from the basket. That's going to make Coach Diener and his squad happy. Jared Kaufman gets the foul for Kakana. That is his first, only the first team foul for the Ghosts. Saberlick into the lane, kicks it back out to Shavey. Shavey takes it right at Hosell. Rim one habit, ball loose, and Kakana comes away with the board. Deering pushing it up. And a whistle, and another offensive foul. That one's going to go on Hosell. And Hosell not happy with the call, but uh, he got tangled up with Jim Dilling underneath. Yeah, some screens moving around there, and those two bodies falling to the ground. The ball favors the Cardinals as Hosell gets called for the offensive foul. Robbie Springmore now with the basketball to Shaby. Posting up Casey Weiss. Weiss posting up on Conan. Weiss loses the basketball. Springmore thought about the three. Now Fond du Lac just slows it down. Weiss takes it right in at him, and it rim one have it. Got caught underneath the basket, and it was a tough shot. And Hosell with a travel. Turnovers are starting to pile up on the Kakana Ghosts. Five turnovers already in this first quarter for Kakana. That's definitely plagued them with a minute and 13 to go. Before the end of the first quarter, Fond du Lac leads Kakona 9-6 in what's been a very low-scoring first quarter. And Fond du Lac, uh, as we've talked about, has only 
allowed around 40 points a basketball game except for that uh, game that they lost earlier this year against Oshkosh North. Springborn takes it right in and a basket. Nice job by Robbie Springborn as the defense kind of, kind of breaks away. Springborn with an open lane takes it right and the foul. Yeah, Robbie caught some of the Kakana defenders uh, at sleep. And, well, he's really quick with that dribble. And so we've seen him penetrate a couple of times tonight. Uh, he's taken a couple of shots, but he's also dished off. That time, Robbie able to score and get the foul, unable to convert on his free throw, however, but still a nice offensive play for the Cardinals. Foul went on Tyler Daring for the Kakana Ghosts. Kaufman with it. Daring being guarded by Springmore. Three-pointer on the way. No good. And John Shavey fighting for the rebound. Possession arrow will go to the final by Cardinals. Well, the Cardinals doing a good job hustling in this first quarter. 40 seconds to go. Coach Diener holds up his finger and says, let's play for one. Springmore. So we roll under 30 seconds left here in the first quarter. Shavy out top with it. He'll Dilling. Need some help. And Springmore now hanging on to the basketball. 13 seconds left in the first quarter. It's usually in the hands of either Robbie Springmore or Chris Saberlick, which and Springmore takes it right in the lane and he hits it. Robbie Springborn with a nice first quarter of play as we come to the end of the first quarter. Cardinals with a 13-6 lead. Robbie Springborn, six points in the first quarter. We'll be back with second quarter action right after this. You're watching Fond du Lac Cardinal Boys Basketball on the Charter Channel. Don't take time to listen to their bodies. Many of my first-time clients are surprised when I find areas that are sore or tender that they didn't realize were there. I can help release those tension spots. I always take time to listen to my clients because trust is very important. There can be many misconceptions about massage and everyone has different comfort levels and it's important to respect that. Massage therapy can be an important part of the overall health and well-being and I encourage people to take their health seriously and to relax. And welcome back to the Cardinal Fieldhouse as we enter the second quarter of play. The Cardinals lead 13 to 6 and We're getting Sean, up to high schools. Uh, both teams kind of uh, struggling here early going on offense just uh, really no flow for either team offensively. Not a lot of offense in that first quarter as evident by the score on the scoreboard. Bottlelac holding Kakana to only six points and you know a lot of turnovers. Kakana turned the ball over five times only one turnover for the Cardinals but not really a flow for either team. The Cardinals obviously shooting the ball a little bit better, and that's why they've got the lead. And for the second quarter play-by-play, -play, here is Sean Kaiser. Kakana opens up this second quarter with the basketball. Shooting it, and no good is Craig Coonan. Back the other way come the Fond du Lac Cardinals. Quickly up court, Robbie Springborn. Springborn able to pick up a foul on the defender. Well, we've really seen Robbie Springborn come out and be aggressive in this basketball yeah, game. Yeah, six points in the first quarter of play, and that time, once again, just kind of a defensive breakdown by the Kakana Ghost. If uh, Kaufman doesn't stand in front of Springborn, he has an easy layup for the second time. Outside three taken by Saberlick. In and out, but nice hustle by Jim Dilling, Dilling able to control the offensive board. I tell you what, the Cardinals have done a good job in this basketball game on the offensive boards. And, and as you mentioned, Hosell not impressive so far. Outside three-pointer is good, Sean Bartell. His first three points of the basketball game. The Cardinals now lead by 10. Bartell, who had an outstanding basketball game against Appleton West uh, the other night in Appleton, cranks up a three right here. And a turnover by Kakana as uh, once again Hosell not ready for that pass down low the Cardinal defenders really flustering him so far whether it's been Dilling or Derek Arndt really using their size and strength advantage against Hosell down the lane Robbie Springboard Springboard goes glass Robbie Springboard an outstanding first half of basketball blowing by the defenders lays that one off the glass the Cardinals now up 18 to 6 I tell you what Kakana needs somebody to stand up defensively pretty quick here and an offensive foul charge going to be called on Kakana. <laughs> Can any more momentum be in the way of the Cardinals? Cardinals doing a great job. And uh, head coach uh, 
Mike Shallow for the Kakana Ghost has to get his team under some sort of control because as uh, you know, Sean, Fond du Lac, a pretty good defensive basketball team. They don't allow a whole lot of points, and you uh, you can't get down against this Cardinal team. Let's see what Robbie Springmore is going to do. He's hit four straight shots, giving them eight points in this game. And another foul going to be called on Kakana as the team falls quickly. Adding up to the Ghost, that's now their 16th foul. One more, and the Cardinals will be in the bonus. Just a side note, uh, before the uh, foul went on Kaufman, that is his third, and now the foul here goes on Deering. That is his second. So uh, several of the Kakana Ghosts in a little bit of foul trouble here early going in this basketball game. Springborn working against Tyler Deering. He's had some success against him so far. As Springborn leads the Cardinals with eight points, he's hit his last four shots that he's taken. Cardinals patient on offense with 6.17 to go in the first quarter. They lead 18 to 6. Here comes Casey Weiss. He's going to pass it over to Jim Dilling, who's going to take the outside jumper and hit it. Long range jumper for Jim Dilling. I don't see him take that one that often, but he was open. He took it and he hit. That was a great offensive series by the Fond du Lac Cardinals. Very patient on offense until they found the open guy and then Dilling hit it. And the triple team came to Hosell down low. He kicked it out to Ben Deering, who missed his outside shot. Cardinals able to control the rebound. Here's Robbie Springboard. Springboard going to go down all the way. Oh, just misses the bunny. And Kakana gets the rebound, so that breaks Springboard's streak of four consecutive shots. And an air ball going to be thrown up by Kakana. And then as Dilling grabbed the rebound, a foul on number three, Dan Held. That's the seventh team foul now on Kakana. And the Cardinals will be in the bonus. I tell you right now, Kakana couldn't hit the broad side of a barn as they are struggling. They are held scoreless so far here in this second quarter of play. There is a timeout on the court. We will take a timeout as well. We'll be back right after this. You are watching Fond du Lac Cardinal Basketball on Charter Sports. When gearing up for high school sports, your first and only stop is team sports, Main Street Fond du Lac. Shoes, balls, gear, it's all here at Team Sports on Main. Dribble, pass, shoot. It's basketball season and Team Sports has all your basketball needs covered. One stop and you're in the game. Or maybe the struggle for the pin is more your speed. Team Sports also carries all you need for wrestling. Team Sports has trophies, leather jackets, and Packer and Badger merchandise. Team Sports, your sports headquarters. And Fond du Lac Springs coach Bob Hyland in the Cardinal Fieldhouse tonight taking in this basketball game. He looks a little too relaxed for Bob Hyland. Well, it's not the football season. Of course, congratulations to him and the Ledgers for capturing the Division VI state championship, a thrilling game against Hilbert uh, last year at Camp Randall. Of course, Hilbert lined up to kick a 51-yard field goal and ended up having to heave a pass, much like the New York Giants did this yeah. past weekend against San Francisco. And... The pass fell short. Highland able to pick up another state championship, but in the house checking out Fond du Lac basketball tonight. I don't think uh, Springs did a pass interference, though, on, on that game. <laughs> Much like the 49ers did against the Giants. Free throw good by Jim Dilling. Cardinals up by 15 points. Lead 21-6. to six. And that free throw, no good. Rebound bounced around, finally controlled by Kakana, so the Kakana Galloping Ghosts have been held to six points so far, swarming defense of the Cardinals, and a timeout gonna be taken by Kakana as they had some problems trying to hang on to that basketball. It's a 30 be, second timeout. Yep, yeah, but it will be a 30 second timeout. Sean Kakana just struggling uh, on offense, and uh, they just aren't uh, doing it right now. By the way, one thing uh, I haven't noticed, and I finally noticed right now, uh, there hasn't been any concessions this year at uh, the basketball games, and uh, been kind of ironic. I don't think I've uh, been to a basketball game that doesn't have concession stands. I think you're, uh, yeah, you're right. There we go. There's our uh, Sue Smith. Want to thank her for volunteering her time. Some popcorn available, as well as some water, apparently. Uh, that's the only thing that they'll allow at the concession stand. Don't really want some people wandering around the commons and stuff. Uh, I know last year uh, with the Fond du Lac basketball boosters, they 
They let them run concession stands out in the commons area, but this year, much like many other things, not really allowing for that, cutting some programs. I just don't understand it. Popcorn and water. That's all they're allowing. Obviously, the concession stands in outstanding and a, a big-time, heavily relied on fundraiser for the Fond du Lac Boosters and, of course, uh, helping out the, the youth program. Yeah, and, and, you know, a person like we, me where food is three-quarters of my life, I need something to eat before the game, and not anymore here at the games. Stolen away by Jim Dilling, and Dilling thought he might go up. You've been begging for a slam dunk in the pregame, <laughs> but uh, Dilling able to lay that one off the glass and in, and I tell you what, this one's really becoming a lapper for Kakana. Kakana's turned the ball over eight times and make it nine times now as that one bounces out of bounds. Kakana's only got six points in this game, and I tell you what, the Cardinals, their offensive deep, off, awesome defensive job they did against Appleton, Nor or Appleton West and Brian Butch last Friday night is continuing tonight in their game against Kakana. Yeah, and uh, Kakana yet to hit a basket here in the second quarter of play. Cardinals holding them scoreless. Uh, Really, the only guy that's doing any scoring for the uh, Kakana Ghosts is Tyler Deering. He has uh, five of the six points. Robbie Springborn hits his first. Spring Springborn, sorry, Sean, having a pretty nice game tonight for Fond du Lac so far. Nine uh, points for him. Cardinals are in the, in the bonus. Springborn hits both free throws. Extending Fond du Lac's lead to 25-6. They lead Kakana by 19 with 4 minutes and 30 seconds to go before halftime. And that pass. Another turnover for Kakana. Not ready for the pass. Kind of bounced off the defender's head, but then they're able to get some redemption as they're able to steal it away there. Only the second turnover on Fondelac, but unable to convert on the basket. Ball out of bounds. It's going to be possession for Fondelac. They even had numbers that time, and Kakana could not take advantage of it, and Another missed shot by the Kakana Ghost, I tell you. Cardinals, uh, you don't worry about them uh, tonight. They've come out and they've uh, played a pretty good game, and you got to give them credit so far all season long. Uh, whenever they've had an emotional win, you don't want a letdown against uh, lesser of a team. Cardinals haven't done that at all. They've taken care of business of teams that they're supposed to beat so far. Cardinals look very focused tonight accomplishing all the objectives that they set out for at least in this first half so far as they lead by 19 with 3 minutes and 44 seconds to go in the second quarter. Cardinals patient once again. They don't have anything offensively so they just uh, bring it back out on top. We talked about the foul trouble for Kakana. The Cardinals only have two team fouls. I mean nobody at all is in foul trouble. Usually at this point of the game you, you kind of worry about fouls as Jim Dillon gets the ball or excuse me Derek Art gets the ball underneath. Art puts it up and puts it in. The Cardinals despite having a size disadvantage down low, has had no problem scoring in the paint. Yeah, everybody getting into the act tonight, and uh, Derek Arndt with just a strong move underneath. He lays it in. The foul will go on Ben Deering. And, uh, you know, the Cardinals, we talk about Hosell. He's supposed to be a big scorer. They only allow nine points against Brian Butch the other night against Appleton West. Uh, so far... They uh, only have allowed one basket on Hosell, and Hosell's going to get called for a push-off foul underneath. Was it a foul or a lane violation? Well, maybe it's a lane violation. I thought maybe a foul. That's what it's going to be, a lane violation, and it will go on Hosell. Well, Derek Hart makes him pay. Cardinals up 28 to 6 and Kakana playing this game like it's 8 a.m. not 8 p.m. <laughs> Is it 8 p.m.? Not in their world as ball to the floor. Cardinals have it but they're going to call a jump ball but possession arrow does favor Fond du Lac. And still scoreless in this second quarter are the Kakana Ghosts. Boy, throughout the 90s we've seen Bondelac teams hold some of their opponents scoreless in some of the quarters. I know I can remember a couple of games I think where Fondelac's held opponents scoreless in the first quarter. Six points is what Kakana had starting the second quarter and that's what they've got so far as Robbie Springborn goes up but he's going to draw the foul and the Cardinals are 
Just so much more aggressive than Kakana so far in this basketball game. This is excellence of execution offensively and defensively by the Cardinals. And the Cardinals are just uh, a lot more confident on offense than the Kakana goals are. Kakana is just very tentative in all their passes and all their shots. And, and we've seen it all season from the Fond du Lac Cardinals. When they go to the hoop, they are aggressive and they take the ball there strong. Springboard, Springborn's first free throw is good. Of course, Robbie hit the game-winning basket at Appleton West last Friday night with about 1.2 seconds left. Springborn, a runner in the lane, hit it over Brian Butch, the big guy. Springborn having a nice basketball game tonight. 12 points here in the first half. 30 to 6 is the lead for Fond du Lac. A 24-point lead. Kakana yet to penetrate the scoreboard in this second quarter. The defense has really been there for the Cardinals. We talked about a possible letdown. If anything, it's just made the Cardinals more confident. Not overconfident, but they feel real confident in their game. Well, guess what, Nick? Another turnover on Another Kikana. turnover. Cardinals just playing outstanding defense. And uh, Kakana right now, uh, they don't know what to do. Their head coach is just stumped on uh, how to solve this Fond du Lac defense. Yeah, the head coach for Kakana not really upset at least visibly upset he just maybe some sort of slight disappointment but not like he's throwing his fists or anything Saporski's getting into the basketball game now for Fond du Lac he also Sean had a nice game against Appleton West couple of uh, big three pointers now Saporski hit some wide open shots Brian Butch didn't step out on them so Saporski said all right I'll shoot it from out here and had some clutch three pointers in that game against Appleton West last Friday night as we just passed under two minutes to play in the second quarter. Fond du Lac leads 30 to 6. A 24 point lead for Fond du Lac who has held Kakana scoreless in this second quarter. Cardinals just patient again on offense just waiting for something to open up. They are in no hurry at all. I'll be surprised to see Fond du Lac salt away these final two minutes of the second quarter as Art gets open down low. Oh, could have been a, a foul call there, at least I thought so. Far, Art, because of the defensive pressure, flipped it up too quickly and a turnover by the Cardinals. All right. I want to see, I want to see if to put up a goose egg in this quarter. I would too. Bobby Final Springborn like, thought about the three. Springborn drives but picks up a foul. Final X defense is playing uh, to uh, shut them out here in the second quarter. They're doing a great job as uh, Mike Shallow, head coach of uh, the Kakana Ghosts, I think, letting it out a little bit. Just a little bit frustrated and uh, starting to get on the referees, which I don't see anything uh, being the referee's fault so far in this game. Besides, uh, he's just got to put the basketball in the hoop. Free throw no good by Robbie. Well, you, you talk about putting the basketball in the hoop, you just can't turn it over. So yeah, far in this yeah. game, Kakana 12 turnovers. 12 turnovers in the first half. Yeah, and that's just not going to beat this Fond du Lac Cardinal basketball team. You can't turn the ball over against Fond du Lac. you got to be able to put up a lot of points on the board. And uh, Kakana has, an, has only put on six points on the board so far. 31-6, to six, the Cardinal lead with 113 to go in the second quarter. Will Kakana score in this second quarter? This is the big uh, possession right now. A three-pointer on the way, air ball, and the Cardinals able... To get the rebound, Fond du Lac student section lets the uh, offensive player for Kakana hear it. Shot no good underneath by Bartelt. And a foul going to be called on Kakana. Cardinals now in the double bonus. And the foul is going to go on number 21, Ben Surway. That'll be his first 55 seconds of surprise. The Cardinals just didn't hold on to the basketball. Usually about that one minute mark, uh, they try to salt the clock away. Well, I think if there's only, if there's one area Fond du Lac has not executed extremely well at, it's the free throw line, where uh, they missed a few of their free throws. Not terrible, but I'd like to see them sink a couple of more as they're able to knock down that one. Kyle Shepard, who checked into this basketball game. 50 seconds to go, Fond du Lac leads 32 to six. Pat Randall also into the basketball game for Fond du Lac. Coach Dick Diener, getting a chance to go to the Pines early as a foul goes on Tyler Deering. That's, I believe, his fourth. His fourth. Only one more, and he could be fouled out of the first half here. Well, he pushed off a little bit with his hand, and I think he looked frustrated, as did his head coach. Maybe thought that might have been a tic-tac foul, and kind of want these kids to play as now you can kind of see him 
Kakana getting a little bit frustrated, getting a little bit nasty on this defensive end, kind of getting in the face of the Cardinals. And you see it right there, a hard foul. Yep. I talked about it. They're frustrated. They're upset, obviously, and because hopefully they don't do anything stupid and hurt one of the Cardinal players. Yeah, I know. Down uh, quite a bit, and, and uh, pretty much uh, they just want to get this game back to respectability. And, uh, you know, I'm really surprised that uh, Mike Shallow, head coach of the Kakana Ghosts, is leaving during into the basketball game with the potential of fouling out already. Well, I just, uh, I just read Kakona head coach's Mike Shalo's uh, lips. <laughs> Something I'm not going to repeat. <laughs> As Saporsky's up and good with that second free throw, it's a 35 to 6 lead for Fond du Lac with 30 seconds to go. I think that uh, Shalo might have said, hey, <laughs> if we're going to get called for fouls, let's, let's make them count. Yeah. Well, Deering with his four fouls, drives down the lane, has to alter his shot, jumper on the way, no good. Cardinals retain the rebound, and, well, barring any sort of turnover by Fond du Lac, they're going to hold Kakana scoreless in the second quarter. Wow, only six points allowed in this basketball game, and uh, with five seconds left, it looks like the Cardinals are going to hold the Kakana goes scoreless in the second quarter. Kakana might not score a basket the rest of the game. I don't know if I'd say that. But <laughs> you never know. Inbound to Bartell. Three seconds. Bartell with the jumper. It's good. Sean Bartell. It's the jumper at the buzzer. What a first half it's been for the Fond du Lac Cardinals as they've dominated on offense and defense. They held to kind of scoreless in that second quarter. Fond du Lac. Great job by Fond du Lac in that quarter. They just came out and they took care of business. Up 30, Sean. 36-6, to six, the Cardinals lead Kakana. We'll be back with halftime stats.